Hello everyone! Today's review is about a product that I've waited for a long period of time to get one, just because of different reasons. But today I'm so excited that I have it and I want to share it with you guys. The product that I'll review today is a monitor. Funny enough, I've never owned my own monitor until now. When I was younger, living with my parents, I had a monitor for the PC that I've used at that time. Then I switched over to laptops and that was it. I never had the need of a monitor. Now that I have my YouTube channel, and speaking of my YouTube channel, a subscribe is highly appreciated, I feel the need of a bigger screen, just because of all the video editing involved. I've waited so long, but the wait is over now. I have my own first monitor, the Samsung LC34 J79 with QLED curved display. I'll switch over to the unboxing video and I'll see you back right after. Enjoy! And we're back, have a look at this display, it's awesome, it's curved, it's ultra wide, it has a quad HD display with a 100Hz refresh rate, what more can you ask for? Maybe 4K? So let's look into the specs. This is a large 34 inch ultra WQHD display. The resolution is 3440 by 1440 p UHD which offers 3 times the pixel density of a full HD. AMD FreeSync display technology, which means that the games will be smoother if you have a PC with AMD graphics card. Sorry for the ones with Intel. 3000 to 1 native contrast ratio. The curved display is a great feature. This is the first time I worked on one and I can say that it's a game changer, just because I don't need to shift around in my seat and I can enjoy comfortable viewing from anywhere. Another feature that I like is the wide range of ports that this monitor comes packed with. One HDMI 2.0 port, one Display port, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, one USB Type-C port. Beside this, the monitor has two USB Type-A ports and a headphone jack. Samsung advertises this as world's first Thunderbolt 3 curved monitor and this one has two Thunderbolt 3 ports to connect compatible Macs and PCs. What is Thunderbolt 3 and how can you take advantage of it? Well, Thunderbolt 3 lets you transmit video and data at really high speed, up to 40 gigabytes per second, which is 8 times faster than the normal USB 3. With this port, you can constantly charge devices up to 80 watts just by using one single cable. The aspect ratio of the screen is 21 to 9, so the user can experience efficient multitasking on a single screen and puts off the inconvenient dual monitor setups. With a screen refresh rate of 100Hz, the mouse sensitivity is sleeker, it also reduces the drop in frames for fast moving action screens. The contrast ratio is set to 3000 to 1, which delivers deeper blacks, brilliant whites and richer colors for more vibrant scenes. As this is a QLED panel, which stands for Quantum Dot Technology, it supports approximately 125% of sRGB color palettes, making it great for video or photo editing. A big size monitor like this one comes with two speakers, each delivers 7 watts, so 14 watts in total. The sound is great for a monitor, here is a sample.
It sounds better than my old laptop, but not as good as the MacBook Pro or the Google Home Mini, still usable. A strong selling point is the PBP or PIP feature that the monitor offers. Let me explain what this means. By PBP or picture by picture, the user can display two sources on screen at their native resolution. So basically you can split the screen in half to display from two different laptops, but they have to use different ports. If one laptop uses USB Type-C, then the second one can only use HDMI or DisplayPort. For multitasking, the best mode to use is PIP or Picture-in-Picture, -picture, where the second display can be shown in a picture on the main screen. The second source can be resized up to 25% of the screen and can be positioned anywhere in the four corners. It is difficult to say which one is better, because if you use the PIP, then you can't see one of the corners, so if you have any icons there, you won't be able to see how to click on them. It is fine if you are not bothered of that block space, and it is very useful when you don't need a large screen for the second source. In my case, I can work on the MacBook Pro and have the second laptop open to monitor the status of the action given. On the other hand, this monitor is great to use if you work on two devices and you need a bigger screen to see. The screen can be set to wide or to auto and the resolution will adjust accordingly, as not all of the softwares are compatible between macOS and Windows, or what I have on Windows, I don't have it on Mac, I find the PBP useful when I work on two different softwares without the need of shifting in my seat from one laptop to another. Another selling point is the cable management system that the monitor offers. At the back, it has the display ports and the plug that are covered and the stand that has a space to accommodate three thick cables, like the ones that came with this product. So there are no cables floating around and keep your desk neat. By the way, speaking of cable management, I spent two to three hours to set up the monitor and make sure that the cables are hidden. I am happy with the result, there are no cables on the desk or under the desk beside the HDMI and the Type-C cables that I use regularly. I really like this Samsung QLED curved monitor and I am more than happy with the purchase I made, although it was very pricey. It's perfect what I need it for and I'm so glad that I went with an ultra-wide display instead of the traditional 4K monitor. I admit it took me a really long time to figure out which one to go for but I made the right choice for me. The link to this product is in the description below. Go check it out. This wraps it up. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button if you enjoy it and subscribe to be notified of new product reviews. Enjoy the rest of your day or night and I'll see you on the next one.